Hey, 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 what do you say when you know out there, fellow YouTubers, gig minions, and your sister's asshole? The bearded cunt is back today, and we got a big fat plop. And I think it fits because this particular fucking gig tuber is named after it. He actually named himself after a shit, which I could not believe i could not believe mushy moo what the fuck is a mushy moo and I, what possessed him to name himself that i mean i got some i got a fucked up name that i that i picked you know it was it was, it, it was in the running <clears throat> you saw that fucking video uh the origin of the feces with uh you know how the name came about peter goes in you um you know is that when it was between that one or uh, uh dixie normus you know, Tommy Louie's on the fucking Steve-O show and everything. Um, there was a there was another one uh, that I was in, in the running, too. I got it from Revenge of the Nerds. It was Mike Hunt. Like Mike, M-I-K-E, and then his last name, Hunt, H-U-N-T. But uh, say that, Mike Hunt. Mike Hunt. <laughs> anyway, it's just fucking juvenile and... Uh, I don't know. It's not politically correct. It's uh, it's repugnant. It's uh, disgusting. But hey, uh, you know, people out there, I'm sure there's fucking uh, about cut me five to ten people are laughing right now about that. But whatever. But this fucking Mushi Moo, he calls himself Mushi Moo. What the fuck is a Mushi Moo? And then when he, when you look at him, you're gonna figure out. Oh, I, okay. There there could be a whole story behind that. So. <clears throat> We're going to give him a poop word at the end of the uh, the poop cast here because this fucker, if I, if I give anybody a shit award, it's going to be this guy because he named himself after a fucking shit, you know, which is funny. So, what the hell's been going on? I mean, uh, what, what's going on with a blizzard and shit up in fucking uh, the Northeast? Holy shit, they got pummeled, pummeled with a blizzard. Man, I grew up in that area, so I know how that sucks in the winters, man. I remember... Uh, I, I was through a couple blizzards there. I remember when I was a kid. <clears throat> Shit, I can't remember what year. I was a kid, and we had this, my parents had this long fucking driveway. And uh, when the blizzard comes and the snow comes, man, it, it was literally over my dad's head. Probably six feet, seven feet, you know, piled up. And you couldn't, it, you were like a fucking Eskimo. You had to dig yourself out. It was that bad. I remember I, I couldn't go to school for like four or five days. They shut it down. You know, it literally took us two days to dig the fucking truck out so my dad could go to work. <clears throat> That's how fucking crazy that gets. And, uh, you know, as a kid, you don't care. I'm like, fuck this. I don't have school. I don't give a shit. I'll go help my dad dig out. And I was just a little kid. I mean, well, I'm not really going to help him that much. But you couldn't even get the snowblower in there. You had to dig this shit by hand and then throw it to the snowblower. Then hopefully the snowblower launches it over the... Oh, my God. It was, it's crazy. I, so... Jesus, I remember that I tried putting the back in the truck out, and he, uh, you know, we, we, we kind of misjudged it, and he ended up denting both sides of the truck <laughs> trying to squeeze down this tunnel. That's what happens when you get a, uh, uh, you know, when you live through the blizzards. But uh, God, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about there and here in Texas. Fuck, the, what, what the worst thing we got to worry about here in Texas is uh, some rain and hurricanes. I mean, shit. If you live in the Houston area, all the chipmunks are fucking in rowboats when it rains. I mean, you can see them. But, uh, damn, I don't know. What's, what else be going on? I had this fucking, uh, incident. This, this was a weird one. And I, you know, I'm like, I came home the other night. I was out doing something and I was like, I was fucking hungry. The wife's out of town, uh, for now. And, uh, so I'm like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to get some garbage food. I'm going to stop at Taco Bell. First fucking mistake. I haven't had that shit in can't even remember it's been years right i'm like yeah it's fucking hard i, I need some you know this this will taste good um so i uh end up pulling in there right it was like fucking what was it, it was like 9 55 okay i this is this is a fucking true story i'm not even kidding how these fucking asshole kids are today and i can't I, <laughs> so i get up there i go to order it was literally 9 55 the fucking place closes at 10 30 right i roll up and i go hey you guys open and he's like oh we're closed i'm like you're closed it says 10 30 and he's like nope my system's down and i'm like and then i hear this in the background 
fucking asshole, you fucking motherfucker. This and I'm like, what the fuck? Who just called me a fucking asshole in there? I heard it over the intercom, and I go, who the fuck was that? And the kid goes, oh, that was just us goofing around back there. And like, uh, what? You, you call me an? You know, I was just fucking with the kid. I'm like, you call me an asshole? I'm like, who was your manager? I'm like, meet me out front. I want to comp. And he's like, no, I'm not doing it. Blah blah blah. And I'm like, you little fuck. I mean, is this how you fucking talk to customers? <laughs> it just went back and forth. But literally. Yeah, I heard this in the fucking intercut. So I'm like, man, that's that that's what happens, man, when you put kids in charge. They just fucking, they, you know, clearly nobody was in charge of them. I can't say I fucking, I can't, I can't say I blame these kids. I mean, Jesus Christ. I remember, man, when I was like, what was I, like 16, I had a job at Burger King. I remember this. I had many jobs. I got fired from so many fucking jobs when I was a kid in my 20s. And yeah, <laughs> I can't even count. But I remember I, uh, you know, I got pissed off at my manager one time and uh, I don't know what the fuck. And I'm like, fuck this. And I, I put a handful of fucking, I made this burger and I put a handful of these pickles and all this shit. And I wrapped it up and I send it and it got to the customer and the customer's like, whoa, what the fuck? And, he, and then the manager comes back. Yeah, you're, you're fucking fired. Get out. And I'm like, yeah, no shit. What do you think I fucking did it for? You're a fucking, you're a fucking goon. Anyway. What else is going on? The, uh, the fucking Bengals. The Bengals win. Oh, that was awesome. Fuck those fucking Chiefs. I hate the fucking Chiefs. All these all these pylon teams. Thank God the Bucks got ousted. You know, fucking all, all these goddamn teams. I wanted to see the Buffalo Bills go to the Super Bowl and finally win. But they didn't. So the Bengals, man, what an underdog fucking. Uh, uh, it was It was awesome. Remember the last time they were in the Super Bowl, they played the 49ers and Joe Montana, you know, remember he kicked the shit out of them. But yeah, I, that was like the Icky Woods era and uh, Boomer Esiason, all you young bucks, you're like, you young whippersnappers don't even remember that guy. But yeah, thank God we got, who the fuck wouldn't be rooting for the Bengals? I mean, really the Rams in fucking LA, all those LA fucking douchebags are going to be fucking in that stadium and. Uh, yeah, it's like, oh, God, yeah, that'll silence them. They got a team for, like, what, five years, and now, oh, yeah, it's a, it's a fucking in thing to do. No, nobody fucking gives a shit about football in L.A. None of them do. I lived there from that time, and then they, I lived there when they got the Rams, and nobody gave a fuck. Nobody gave a fuck. Going to check out the fucking Sixers and the Mavericks up in Dallas uh, this week, so that should be fun. But, uh, yeah, just sick of the fucking NBA and all these fucking pylon teams with everybody. Every You know, oh, the fucking Lakers. Now they suck. It's awesome. And they have all these expensive players and all these stars. I love it. The, you know, the Nets have it, but they're pretty good. But it's like these fucking goddamn teams go out and buy their fucking championships. I mean, what what the fuck is the fun in that? No, gee, I, I'm going to get all the top players and put them all on one team, and yeah, they're going to win, like, year after year. They're going to win the fucking, uh, you know, the championship. Gee, wonder why. Yeah, that's that that just fucking ruins the game. So, fuck the fucking Lakers, too, and the fucking pile-on teams like that. Uh, I don't know, man, but I, I'm rooting for those Bengals. That, that is going to be fucking fun to watch. You know, I always love these teams. I wish the fucking Bills would have made it. They had fucking four chances in the 90s, and they blew it, but... Still, it's like, holy shit, the Bills are good again. I can't believe it. Sick of all these fucking teams. Like, you know, goddamn Packers got knocked out. That's all. That's that's awesome. Like, when all these fucking teams that aren't supposed to fucking win, win. Makes it for good football. Anyway, uh, so this, uh, might as well get to what we're doing here. This mooshy moo. You know, I, you got to just take this with a grain of salt with this guy. I mean, this guy clearly... Let, let's take Good a look. Good morning, Listen guys. It is 11.45 a.m. It's still a pretty cool day, but today there's no wind. Also, we're going to oh be starting the day God. off with some Jersey Mike's action. $6 for 1.5... So already, do you see what the fucking... You see what I'm getting at? I can see why people hate this guy. I, he seems like he's on crystal meth. I've never even done crystal meth. I'm a... Breaking Bad fan, so I, I kind of, I don't know, I fucking watch TV. I, I, I never been around these fucking druggies. The worst thing I ever did was drink whiskey. Maybe smoke the joint a couple times. I just don't like it. I just like fucking drinking whiskey and, you know, I'll stick with the with the booze. That's about it. But what is this guy on? He talks like a fucking mile a minute and he's so fucking annoying and he has this fucking uh, GoPro strapped to his fucking head or something on his body. I'm going to get into that in a minute. But, uh, yeah, I, I can't believe it, but th he act 
There's a part in this video, somebody sent me this, and this is why I'm, I'm picking this video to fucking shit on this guy. Because I wanted to do him anyway, but somebody put it in the comments today that when I did this gig Lebowski, you know, I made that fucking video. And uh, he, uh, apparently that video went over and, uh, you know, I got like all these comments, you know, back and forth. It's funny how everybody's on one. I, I, this is so fucking entertaining. I think everybody honestly is getting bored with watching pickup drop off videos, which I did in the first fucking week, right? So now, you know, we need, we're gearing, I think the fucking whole thing is moving towards entertainment and, uh, you know, kind of the shit, what I do, what Roy does, like these other gig tubers, they're, they're, it's like this, it, it, we're, there's a stirring up the pot and everybody's on, I think a lot of people already picked a side and other people picked another side. And now it's just this brave hard fucking, you know, final battle. It's hilarious shit. Hilarious shit. I mean, what? <laughs> What are you guys going to do out there? I mean, I'm really going to be sad when these masks go away. You know, these COVID masks. Because Jesus Christ, this whole COVID thing just made everybody fucking angry and pissed off. What the fuck? I mean, everybody's fucking, you know, yelling at each other and fucking insulting everybody. It's fucking, it's beautiful. It's awesome. What are we going to do when they go away? We're going to have to come up with some other bullshit to fucking, uh, you know, attack people. And, you know, what are we, it's going to get boring. You know, it's all, all these fucking masks cause everybody to fucking just sit and yell at each other. <laughs> ah! Oh, it's awesome. But anyway, uh, so this Mushi Moo is like, he talks a mile a minute. He looks like a fatso with a, the fatso from uh, the skinny dude from, uh, you remember that Revenge of the Nerds, that fucking idiot with the glasses, the nerd? He was kind of skinny, but picture this Mushi Moo. Picture that guy. The Revenge of the Nerds guy with, with, you know, picture him like with 200 pounds added on his body. Yeah, this Mushi Moo is a fat Mushi Moo. I mean, he's a, just a, he's just like a fucking slob. You can tell he, he looks like he's never getting laid in his life. You know, let, let's check him out. Miles, it's the only order that pretty much came in. Oh, there he is. Jesus That's Christ. That's decent. Look at this guy. So, all right. I, I, yeah, as usual, I usually attack the fucking gig pooping on these tubers. I like to start off with attacking their fucking looks. And uh, just stare at this guy for a minute. Does he? Does he? I actually came out to today camera? around the left. There he is. Okay. So my first impression is, what the fuck is he? He, he wears a collared shirt on a work day. Like, no, who, what is he going to the office? I mean, but but he buttons it all the way up to the top. Like, why doesn't he just wear a fucking tie and go drive? Fucking, I don't know. Pretty funny there. I mean, okay. So he's kind of a dork. He has those Revenge of the Nerd glasses. And, uh, yeah, uh, but you think he probably, when he was younger, I don't know how old this dude is, probably in his thirties. I don't fucking know. He's annoying as shit, but you think he was a geek when he was younger? I think he might've been, I think, I think he might've been a fucking geek. I don't, I don't, I really don't fucking know, but anybody who wears glasses like that, holy shit. Do you fucking look in the mirror when you get up? Do you think that's cool? I, I'm going to just answer it i'm gonna just it's like the fucking elephant in the room it's not fucking cool dude you gotta get those get rid of those glasses holy shit those are not pussy magnets okay and i can tell by looking at this guy the only pussy he's getting is when he gets out his fucking credit card okay and orders something up no fucking way this guy imagine this guy walking into a bar talking like he does a mile a minute with those fucking glasses and that fucking that that stupid ass old man fucking button down shirt he had. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. 11 10. I was gonna schedule myself for 11 a.m. But I was like, hey, let me go ahead and schedule myself for 11 30. So I was like, okay, I'll come out in between. So I come out at 11 10 a.m. 35 minutes later, I get my first order. And it's not even a great order. It's a $6 for 1.5. I just wanna do it because my leg is falling asleep. My leg almost never falls asleep. It's, it's called diabetes, you fat slob. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, dude, Jesus Christ. This guy doesn't... I, I guarantee he's never been on a treadmill in his life. I guarantee he always... Can you picture him when he picks up fucking Chipotle or like fucking McDonald's? He's got his hand in the fucking fries. And he, he's just like, oh, I don't know. I can't. I'm No. No, I'm going to... Nah, nah. He's stuffing his face with the... I mean, this... Guaranteed. He's one of these assholes that eat the fucking food that he's delivering. But, whoa. Whoa. And, you know... Uh, I, I, dude, I can't stop looking at those glasses. It just reminds me of fucking that, that geek from Revenge of the Nerds. 
Holy shit. But, uh, you see what I'm talking about? He's just so, his voice and his, his I mean, dude, slow the fuck down. Calm down, dude. You, you, you remind me of a fucking tweaker. Dude, other than that, double crypto weekend still going oh, on. No, no, it is last. He just said crypto? Night, we, we, okay, what? this is what happened. This is what happened. I, I'm going to be transparent. So the three dollars that I got for free from Coinbase Earn of the Jasmine stuff that you saw, I actually sold Jesus that to buy more Solana to try to get three Solana. Oh, the problem is it only gave me two point nine 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 Solana, and I was so freaking mad about that. So today we're going to blow past three Solana. But for I, I don't even know what a sol I, what the fuck. It, so this again, again he can't be that old because. I, this is here we go again with these fucking these gen y's these gen z's whatever the fuck gen fucking uh you know one two three four i don't who the fuck knows but this dude this little pipsqueak is probably around tanner's age and here we go with the crypto fucking peddling another one you see you see what these idiots do uber stock doordash they're on Discord, they're on Tumblr, they're on Facebook. So yeah, I have, what do you, th there it is. These are the assholes driving up these tech prices. These fucking idiots that don't know anything about the world or business or, I, I wonder if this guy knows what the company 3M is, okay? Does he know what Chevron is? Does he know what Enbridge is? Does he know what uh, McDonald's, well, he fucking, he delivers to McDonald's. Oh my God, it's like, why the fuck? Do these people invest in cryptocurrency beyond me? And, and you know, I wonder if Mushi Moo knows the thing. The fucking shit just tumbled 40%. It's, it's going to keep going. And I've been, I've been fucking talking down with this. These idiots that fucking throw their money into this. And then these morons, like more finance, that more idiot. Same shit. Tanner to Circus Carney. It's like, where... Where do they fucking wake up and who teaches them that, that that investing in crypto is a fucking intelligent move? I don't know. I don't know, but y'all know my thoughts on that. But here's another one, another fucking crypto minion to add to your fucking thing. <laughs> there it is. They've gone through some employees, so man, what but the crew the that fuck? they have he's in got there a, right now. He's got a GoPro on. He, where is this fucking thing attached? I mean, this is fucking brazen. I mean, yeah, hey, Pedro, when he did his fake gun story, why couldn't he fucking have a GoPro mounted like that so we could see? Actually, but you know, he didn't want us to see it because it was fucking staged. But like, wouldn't that be something that Pedro could invest in? Because you know, the the asshole claims he makes a hundred grand a year, but he can't. He, you know, he he's still shaking the fuck out of the phone. I don't know, but whatever. But at least this guy's some good equipment. I mean, that's kind of neat. But uh, again, is it? really fucking appropriate to deliver shit to people and go in restaurants with a fucking gopro and i mean i don't know any there it is anything for clicks and fucking likes these fuckers if somebody if if if, if somebody told him that like he could make money fucking hanging out his fucking dong in mcdonald's and doing pickup drop off i think he would fucking do it and they'd be like well you gotta watch you can get arrested for that no anything for clicks and likes and just to fucking you know, move the pickup drop-off machine forward so I can satisfy minions. That's what they do. Ah. So here he goes. There's the GoPro, and this is this is really uh, it irks me just watching it because if I was the manager of a restaurant and I saw this fucking fatso come in with a GoPro strapped, I'm like, dude, what what are you doing? And I would be give him a fucking negative remark on on you because you can report the fucking drivers on DoorDash and you know Grubhub and all that shit, and and you know for violations, and uh, it's like it's like what are you doing, dude? So uh, here he goes into the he's look at this he's got it live he's filming everybody look at yes it. sir another order ready this is good because it's saving me a bunch of time that I don't have to sit there and wait for the restaurant to make the orders okay so this is great I got a pyology order eight dollars and eighty six cents for two point five miles I I don't get the whole fucking pickup drop off I never have like I cannot believe. There are hundreds of people with fucking ten thousand, twelve, sixteen, seventeen sub thousand subscribers. Uh, that, that, and then these people watch this. Like, what the fuck 
is the point of watching it. It it can't be his personality. I I, I mean, it can't be his fucking meth like fucking rambling. I it can't be his looks. It can't be. I mean, I I don't know. He, he seems like he can edit videos pretty good. And but like, what the fuck? I I don't. I just don't understand it. It's like. You know, it, it's like compare it to like fucking work, a cashier working at Walmart or you're at a fucking uh, at a coffee shop. It's like the guy at Walmart. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm a cashier. And here's what I'm going to do. I, uh, I I'm going to I'm going to check out uh, stuff and garbage and clothes and, and things. And I, you're going to watch me uh, plug it in the register. And here's what I do. I hit the keys and then, and then a receipt comes out and then I hand it to the person and I bag the groceries. And then I do that uh, 400 times a day. Uh, you know, five days a week, and uh, I, you know, I think I should make a YouTube channel on uh, how to be a cashier. It's interesting. I, I have all kinds of content. I could fucking make different. You know, I, I record everybody. I, I don't. I see. That's what I'm talking about. Like, what? It's the same fucking thing. The most mindless shit is on repeat. Twenty four. I mean, why would people be interested in something so stupid as pick up drop off? Like, think about that. So, if you any minions are out there. And you're and you love this shit. You love this shit. My my best advice to you, holy fuck, is to get a life. Number one, and the second thing is, uh, put your fucking couple brain cells to work on something fucking you know positive or or that's gonna fucking benefit you in a way. Because if you fucking can't figure out how to do this mindless, moronic, mongoloid, fucking hoofy job, I I don't know what to fucking tell you. Like because. You tune in to guys like this, and this is what, I mean, I, I, ah, fucking Mushy Moo, you are going to get a fucking Mushy Moo award at the end of this, I think, I'm going to unleash it, so here's what I'm talking about, this, this asshole goes, he has this GoPro strapped on his fucking head, and this is a clear violation of DoorDash, you're not supposed to fucking do that, that's an invasion of privacy when you walk in and film that fucking shit, I can't believe nobody fucking says anything inside the chipotle or when he goes and he picks up but he goes to the fucking door he delivers his shit with a gopro strapped on his head and he goes and he he actually fucking has the customers on camera watch this uh it's beyond -O -O fucking dumb h i gotcha have a good day <laughs> latest watch Hello. this there's your chipotle I didn't offer any. Man, stop playing with me. What? I don't know what that was. Is this, uh, <clears throat> is there anyone could name Joshua here? No. Man. Uh, let me give him a call then and we'll okay. see. <laughs> so the, the whole fucking thing is with this guy and, and, and that's, that's the thing. I, he was another one where he fucking dropped a pizza and he opens the door and the guy's right there. He's on camera and I, I don't understand people. They don't see the camera strapped. I'm like, I'd fucking would be like, dude, what the fuck? What are you doing? Why is that cam? Hell, I ordered DoorDash. All right, you're coming in my house. You're on my front porch. You're on my property. Uh, I don't. What the? F I would. I would. The first thing I would say to him, what the fuck are you doing filming me? Okay. It's like who the fuck? Like what's this guy doing? Walking on the, this fat soul that looks like the Revenge of the Nerds comes up with a fucking gopro i'm like i don't think that's part of doordash what are you doing like how do i know who the fuck you are i what are you like casing out my my house you can come back and fucking rob me you, 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 you're gonna go you're gonna go fucking uh you know like empty my house when i'm at work what the fuck man i i can't believe that i can't believe nobody's reported this motherfucker for doing that that is a clear plain as day contract violation that he should be banned and taken off there because i'm telling you i know how i, I would re i know how i would react if this motherfucker came to my my house and 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 tried to pull that shit the first thing is i would i'm surprised nobody is fucking taking that food and fucking throwing it up his ass really because that is so just fucking disrespectful when you're you know and and then because he's getting away with it because nobody's fucking calling but somebody could fucking report that to fucking doordash and kick him the fuck off the platform I mean, it's, it's plain as day here. Mushy moo. Jesus, smarten up. These motherfuckers will do anything for clicks, likes, and just... I, it's unbelievable. Where does it go from here? But that's clearly... That's clearly fucking out of line, man. I, 
I, I would fucking go off in this motherfucker and report that directly to DoorDash. If that if I had a driver that came up and was filming me, dude, he would get reported right away. I would be like, that's that's a fucking he's crossing a major line there. But uh, you know, they don't they don't care. You know, whatever. Whatever. So there's one more goddamn funny part to this. And th- this this is a part where I actually laughed at this dude. Because I think he has a sense of humor. So, from what I understand, uh, you know, back to what I said earlier, some, some, somebody sent me the link and, he, and they said, hey, did you watch this Mushi Moo? You were on there. And he accidentally, I guess he was watching my video or he was screenshotting it and he was going to put it on social media, which, uh, you know, good. Fucking A. That's good. Good for me. Right? So, he goes and, and he delivers a DoorDash order and, and this dumb fuck... You know when you you know you, uh, you remember when you deliver the order, you take a picture and then you send it to the customer. So I guess this guy did it, and he sent the fucking thumbnail of that mongoloid gig Lebowski, and then my bait my with the with the thumbnail with the turd on the toilet, and he sent that to the fucking customer. What a dumb fuck. Oh, my God. So let's watch this. This is the fucking funniest part of the whole video and why I chose to shit on this guy in this video. <laughs> watch this. Oh, my gosh, guys. That is so freaking awkward, man. So there's this guy called Peter Gozinha on YouTube, and uh, he does this thing where he poops on gig tubers. Like, he just <laughs> makes fun of gig tubers. And uh, he was going to do it to Gig Lebowski, and I was showing it on my Discord. So I took a screenshot of it. But I accidentally sent the screenshot to my customer that I <laughs> accidentally sent it to my customer that I just delivered to. And then I was like, your order is outside. Enjoy. I accidentally clicked that picture. Dude, funny, and then I put man. wrong one, LOL. And then uh, sent him the picture of the food. I, it must have clicked both because I... <laughs> Look at that. Dang it, Peter goes in you, man. What's wrong with you, bro? Stop pooping on us, man. Now you got me. Now <laughs> I'm so getting a one star, bro. I am no so, shit. Not only was I late to this dude, man. He's probably watching me on the uh, on the on the map, bro. But then I mess up and I send him someone getting pooped. <laughs> <laughs> I send them someone getting pooped on, man. Dang it. Yes, Sersky. Got- Alright, so that that is beyond funny. That is fucking beyond funny. Where where's the spot? You imagine getting that at, if you get if you order fucking Chipotle or whatever and the fucking driver's like thanks and he sends you that as a picture. Oh my god, that that is about the funniest fucking shit I've seen in a while. And you know, yet I you know, for me shitting on this guy, I'll give him credit. He actually said my fucking name, which everybody's afraid to do, but they all know who Yay! the fuck I am. But uh and he actually is laughing about this because it is pretty fucking funny. It's just a stupid mistake, but this fucking dumb fuck is so high. he was see this is a problem what I what I've been saying with multitasking I can't believe that this guy is still even you know active because when you film with a GoPro in your fucking head and you're talking like a fucking meth head and 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 you're and you're trying to deliver you know orders you're bound to fuck up and this is my point I remember that fucking Tanner Markley asshole was like promoting uh, multitasking multi no and I said that's that's not that's not a good idea. Because you can, fu- and that's why I actually said you can fuck up an order real quick. And this is funny. This is about the funniest fucking one I've seen in a while. But hey, at least you know what? At least this mushy moo, this fucking revenge of the nerds overweight jackass, like has a sense of humor. And you know, he actually laughs at this. I mean, somebody would not. I- I'm surprised he fucking posted it. To be honest with you, but isn't that funny? How fucking funny is that? You get, you you get you get your fucking Chipotle delivered, and you get this, and I would be like, oh my god, I, I you know, it's actually funny. That that it's, I'm amazed. Like maybe he got fucking reported. You can get kicked off the fucking platform. Imagine, imagine if that fucking went to somebody, and they were actually a gig. Uh, they actually watched his channel, or they watched this shit, or they drove themselves, and they went and they checked my channel out, and then uh, they're like, yeah, this fucking Moosey movie. Look at this asshole. Look what he said. <laughs> 
I don't know. This was the basis of the video. Look at that. When you get that, your order is outside. Enjoy. And you get that mongoloid. That bald chrome dome fucking gig Lebowski with a fucking toilet and a turd on it. And, uh, you know, his minions fucking looking up at him with a with another fucking swirl shit. I mean, oh my God. I would have just loved to see the reaction of that customer. Oh my God. They're either going to laugh their ass off or, uh, you know, get be extremely fucking pissed. But I thought that was fucking funny. <laughs> And then I put wrong one, LOL, and then uh, sent him the picture of the food. I, it must have clicked both because I'm fucking <laughs> dumb fuck. Dang it, Peter goes in you, man. What's wrong with you, bro? Stop pooping on us, man. Now you got me. Now <laughs> she has a sense of humor. I'm so good. It is one fucking star, funny. Bro. I it am is. So not only was I late to this dude, man. He's probably watching me on the uh, on the on the map, bro. But then I mess up and I send them someone getting pooped. <laughs> <laughs> I send them someone getting pooped on, man. All right, yeah. So, Mushi Moo, uh, you, you, I don't know. Maybe the guy has a sense of humor. You know, it, his shit is beyond. Ah, uh, it's beyond cookie cutter. It's so fucking annoying. This guy's annoying. His channel's annoying. His videos are fucking annoying. His physical looks are annoying. Uh, you know, man. Holy fuck! Well, let's take a quick pause here. Let's get these uh, let's get these plugs out of the way. Uh, today's plug sponsor of the channel is uh, iDrive. iDrive. I'm sure, you know what all the fucking cloud backups are. It's like basically like this. How many of you have pictures, Word, Excel documents, video, emails, bookmarks? Who knows what else? Porn. If you're Pedro, you got porn stored on there. You know, on your computer, your phone. You know, y'all know those long and hard hours you worked, whether, you know, it's for personal or business. All those files you have that eat up your computer or phone storage space. You know that shit, right? Well, what happens if none of it's backed up to an external source like the cloud or another hard drive? I'll tell you. It's gone. Poof, like a fart in the wind. If someone hacks you, you lose your phone, there's a fire or something, just equipment malfunction... You think it won't happen, you think again. You know, it's happened to me many times throughout the years, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't put you in the greatest fucking mood because I'm, I'm usually never in a great mood as it is. Uh, you know, I'm usually the fucking, and this will really make you an angry cunt, all right? So, rather than stress about it when it happens and waste your, trying to, you know, your time trying to manually recover uh, what is lost... I suggest getting iDrive, a cloud-based storage backup system where you can install this uh, software on your phone or up to five devices, you know, computers, multiple ones. With all the plans out there, I recommend getting their discounted first-year storage plan for $59.62. Literally. This comes with a whopping five terabytes of storage. Yes, you heard that right. Terabytes, not gigabytes. Remember, one, one terabyte equals a thousand gigabytes so that you get an idea of how much space that really is it's fucking massive okay so set it up to back up hourly daily weekly on your computer or phone and you can easily access the backed up files on the server in the event there's you know you know uh, your device goes missing or some worst case scenario there you go it's a no-brainer and doesn't it doesn't matter what you do for a living or what your industry is everyone needs their files backed up so Here's my link to be taken to the iDrive website where you can sign up quick and start backing up with peace of mind today. Check out iDrive, all right? That, that is, uh, I, I, you know, I, I appreciate the post and everything in the chat. But, hey, take this with a grain of salt, Mushi Mill. You are going to get the award. You're overall a shitbag. You're a fucking major dinkleberry. And, uh, you know, the, the thumbnail thing was funny, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, that's my reaction to this. This is what I wanted to really say about this guy. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be more videos that are, that people send me, and you know, I might click on something that you know this guy might annoy me about another topic. But uh, uh, that that's what I saw with this guy. So 
you know, uh, without further ado, I gotta get. I we gotta give out the award, and I, you know, I'm thinking like, dude, I'm giving a lot, a lot of fucking awards. I mean, our, majority of them have been to Pedro. So when we get enough of these things, we're gonna have like maybe at the end of the year, we're gonna have like the fucking Grammys or the the the, the poopsies. I don't know. And then we'll go through all the fucking awards I gave out, and then we're gonna, you know, we'll we'll maybe maybe these assholes will fucking come, and we'll we'll like you know, we'll bring them up, we'll parade them around on a fucking stage, and. You know, I'll, I'll get, like, these trophies, and we'll, like, you know, have a big fucking turd on the trophy, and, like, hey, Mushy Moo, and the winner is, P- is it Pedro Dordouche, uh, nominated as Mushy Moo, and uh, more finance, the winner is Mushy Moo, with, and he gets the Wet Shit Award. <laughs> wet Shit Award, everybody. This is the one he's getting today, and as usual fashion. Uh, let's define what a wet shit is and see if it ties into this fucking video, okay? So what is a wet shit? A wet shit is, and I'm sure you all had them, you know what this is. It's when you wipe your ass 50 times and it still feels unwiped. So you end up putting toilet paper between your ass and your underwear, 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 so you don't ruin them with those dreaded skid marks. (laughs) How many fucking people have done that? It's like this endless, you take, the, you take the fucking dump, and then it's just like this endless wiping. And then, you, you know, it's like you went through a whole roll of toilet paper, and then you still get, go up and go out, and it still feels like it's all mushy. That's what I think about this guy, because it's just endless. Pick up, drop one after another. It's just like, oh, it's never ending. It's never ending. So this guy, this guy gets the fucking wet shit award. Mushy Moo, you got it. You deserve it, Peckerhead. And, uh, you know, yeah, you got it. Yeah, the only other comment I have is uh, on this guy. I mean, just listening to the way, how he looks, how he talks, his mannerisms. He's just, he, there's no confidence with this guy. He talks too fucking fast. And uh, you can tell he's got something to prove. Just like they all have something to prove. Like they'd be nothing without their fucking channels. Because they're nothing in real life, right? I mean, look at this guy. Can you do you think he has a fucking girlfriend looking like that? Do you do you think he, he has a ton of fucking friends? I mean, clearly he's door dashing. I mean, he's fucking not that bright. I mean, apparently, I don't know if he ever went to school or what, you know. Who knows? But Jesus H Christ. He just reminds me of that name. It's like Mushy Moo. I mean, is this like something from his childhood? Was he like uh, was he like a fat kid or something that uh, they, they just called him Mushy Moo because he had all these fucking fat rolls? I don't know. I mean, I, it's believable because he, he looks like he's fucking overweight. If anybody knows where he got that fucking name, but uh, imagine that and Mushy Moo. It probably is like, you know, oh, that's when I was a kid. Everybody used to fucking, uh, you know, put the fucking sticker on the back of my thing that says kick me. And they used to fucking make me fun of me for being a fatso. And I couldn't fucking drop my drawers when I, you know, when we went into the fucking gym class and the coach made us take showers. I'd be so embarrassed. And then they call him Mushy Moo. I don't know. Maybe he was a football player. I don't know. Who the fuck knows? But I, I don't know where he would get the name Mushy Moo. We're interesting. Interesting. It's as stupid as fucking name. But hey. Doesn't matter. I mean, I fucking look, look at look at my name. It's fucking it's it's beyond stupid already. But hey, maybe he just makes it up. But uh, that's it for today. I uh, you know I think we pooped on this fucking mongoloid enough. Uh, you know, like I said, you got dude, you got to do some of those glasses. Those are the, those are fucking hideous. And uh, you know that's it. So as usual. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that goddamn bell and get notified when I get these new, you know, poop videos out here. The poop cast. We're gonna have the poopies at the end of the year, hopefully. So e- again, email me or leave me in the comments who you like me to fucking shit on because this is, uh, you know, apparently this is people want to see this. I, you know, I have fun doing it. Um, you know, I don't like people as it is, and it just, uh, you know, it 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 gives me pleasure to fucking shit on these assholes. Because they deserve it. Oh, my God. So, until next time, as always, go fuck yourselves. This is Peter Gozinia. You all stay negative out there. See ya!